What's up, people? This is your boy Jay on the Segway. Today's an exciting day for me, all right? Today's an exciting day for me. Why? Because we finna add some stuff to that guy. What stuff? Well, you saw the title, so stay tuned. You know what? How rude of me, right? How dare me show you guys all that stuff, whatever I showed you so far, and not tell you exactly what I'm doing. Let's let's go over what I'm doing real quick. So what we have here are a couple of modifications for the Victor. This is the lower kitty bar, right, inside of here. And these are gonna be the bar lights that's gonna go on the very ends of the kitty bar. So like what you see here with this sort of like what you guys see right here with this upper kitty bar you see how i got this right here and then one on the other side and then on the bar ends i got the little lights and stuff they're brighter than that my battery is just low that's all it is um but i have a whole battery pack for those uh, matter of fact i'm gonna put that in the description below but the kitty bars basically you can buy those on the um mini motors website um i think cosmo designs have their version of it. I don't know if they offer the lights though. And um, Mini Motors NYC, you know. But uh, real quick, before we get into this, right? When you guys, when you guys are gonna order something online, make sure you get a hold of somebody before you order it, especially if you never ordered from them before. I had an issue with one website. I'm not gonna call any names because um, I already told them how I felt about it. So. I'll let them redeem themselves without making an impact on their sales. But um, just make sure you, whether you email, whether you call, get a hold of somebody first, tell them what your intentions are, and get that response before you order with them. All right. I, I just got to look out for you guys in that aspect because, you know, I had to learn a hard way. But um, anyways, back to what we're going to put on the scooter. So we're going to put the lower kitty bar. We got the bar and lights here. These purple things, right? These are, and they unscrew, this top part unscrews and this bottom part. These are like, uh, what do they call these things? Pegs? So, they're basically just gonna sit on the bottom there. These things are pretty huge. Uh, how huge? Let's take my GoPro Hero 10, for example. Here's my Hero 10, and here's the, the highway peg. Yo, this Hero 10 is weird, man. I'd be turning on sometimes, I'd be turning off. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna put those pegs on and something that I've been waiting for about two weeks now, this guy right here. What is this you may add? This is all the hardware that it comes with. Let's get this stuff out of the way. This is the hardware that it comes with. It's gonna come with a remote. Every, every, every LED thing you put on your scooter is gonna come with its own remote. It came with this cable right here. It came with the hardware, you know, the screws and nuts and bolts and stuff like that. You got your little hey, how to work your remote pamphlet, book it and file it. And then you got your LED strip. Now, I don't know how I feel about that LED strip. I feel it should come with two. Yeah, I feel like it should come feel like it should come with two LED strips, possibly three. So let's look at the cable for a second, right? <clears throat> you got, you got this LED strip cable, right? And then you have this guy. So these two right here, these two, what is this? The black and red ones. This, uh, there's going to be another set of cables inside this board, right? that is going to 
have the red and black cables. I'm going to disconnect them because this is how I went with the LED, um, the light right here on the, on the deck. So let's put this camera down. So I'm gonna show you guys something. I really feel like this should have had two strips. Actually, when I think about it, three now. Okay, so you got the LED strip right here. I'm trying to get this camera set up right. Okay, so you got the LED strip, right? It's got 3M tape on the back. No, it may not be 3M, but it's some kind of sticky tape on the back. But it has two connectors. Oh, uh, two cables going in, or three cables going into this. This right here will technically plug into one of these guys. I might be using the wrong ca camera for this. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, like this. Okay, so this would plug here, right? You got, I got two more of these guys. Unless, nope. Inside the board, there's two cables that look just like these, right? They're already connected. So I'm gonna disconnect them, and then I'm gonna take these two cables from this LED system here, and plug one into here, and plug one into there from what's already inside the board that's connected. I'm gonna disconnect them and plug one of the sides in here, one of the sides in here. It will form a complete circuit with this whole assembly. But then there's these two guys. Let's call mini lawyers and see what they do. All right, here we go, guys. NYC, how may I help you? Yes, good afternoon. Damn, I about called you the wrong time of the day. Uh, I have a question about your cause. What is it? The Cosmo Designs uh, uh -huh. mud guard with the, with the light in it, with the LED lights? Yeah. How many LED strips is supposed to come with that? It comes with one tiny LED strip of about five to six light bulbs in there. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. It's a little strip that goes through the back bright enough to light, enough, light up the whole thing. Okay, I was wondering because I was like, I, I see the three cables that one of them, you know, that the LED strip plugs into, and then there's yeah. the two red and black ones. The two red and black ones, do they go? Do they connect to the rear somewhere? Do I like connect? Um, them? So the the red and black ones is wherever you see like uh, a the red and black red and black from one. your D, from your DC converter, you know, like a headlight or anything like that. Right, right. Um, it, you see how there's a male and female in that red and black? Yes, they're gonna plug it's into. It's more like it's yeah, it's more like a looping bridge. So gotcha. one plug a headlight. And you put one side of the one from the Cosmo uh, right. uh, light kit. Yes. Of one end into that one, the other end into the other one. Into so it loops the circle and current flows through both of those light strips. Okay. Now, what about the two? I have two other, uh, let me call them female ends on the other side. The side that the LED strip connects to, there's two extra female ends. What do those go yeah. to? Yeah. The extra ones are in case you go with the Cosmo deck also. It has one one extra connector for each LED strip that would go in the, mm. in the, in the deck. Okay, so it's kind of like one connecting, one splitter designed to do everything to minimize wiring later on. So that's in case a bit. you want to change or you want to run LED strips, they can go right into that. That's a bit. Okay, would it, would it work with, uh, let me see, what's that other brand? I have the, um, the damn it. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you right now. The Carbon Revo, I have their deck liner. It looks like it'll plug right into those. I guess yeah, I could plug uh, it all together. Well, there. Technically, it, it should, right. but um, you gotta really check your wiring on them because oh. uh, Carbon Repo have been known to put their wiring on backwards. You know, like oh. it negative, and then it's just it won't work and that type of thing. <laughs> all right, so I make sure the 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 the, yeah. the freaking <laughs> colors match up to what they're supposed um, to. Now, one thing I will say is now that you tell me that the Carbon Revo is using the same remote as the other one. Oh, that's so dope. So they work you, together. So when you change the color on one, it will most likely have the same frequency and change the color on both. Okay. Damn, I'm, I'm so glad I called you and asked you that. Because, I, yeah, I installed that one myself last so, week. So you know now... what I mean? So if, if, if your goal is to have your tail on one color, uh, you're probably looking for next door, sir. Um... Yeah, I want them to work together. Yeah. yeah, so if you want them the same color, then you should be good. But if you want alternate colors, you're kind of uh, in a pickle. Uh -huh. Gotcha, gotcha. And there's no real way to... I mean, I guess I could use a piece of aluminum or something to block the, the remote from like... Well, they're, they're, they're pretty 
the infrared, so ah, you know, even damn with it. that closed, they still read They're gonna the signal, still go so through. it's kind of, I mean, you could definitely try that right? Um, and see if that works out. Okay, um, okay. But I, honestly, on those, I don't really know exactly where the IR uh, receivers are. Right. Um, at, le- at least on the Cosmo, you know that it has a little box that goes with it, so if you maybe aluminum foil that whole thing, right. you might be able to get your two-color adjustments. But you got to do both of them and set one according to because when you get to, you know like right i see exactly what you're saying up, cover one up pick a color cover the other one up and pick the, and color, pick the color so that they don't so that the frequency doesn't transfer over okay yeah it has the same box as the one for the cosmo yeah they, yeah. they have the same well the same looking box but the whole the wrap yeah. everything looks the same okay all right that's a bet then she looks like it's pretty pretty straightforward easy again so Yes, sir. All right. Then I, yeah, I was wondering about the two extra cables, so that makes total sense. So I could I, yeah. I don't see if I can connect them. I'll call you back if that's something you care to know about in case someone ever asks you again. I can call yeah, you back. I mean, you know uh, like I said, if, if Carbon Revo did, did their job correctly, right. then it should, it should be all wired work. the same way, and you should be able to just plug it into that no problem at right. all. Um, but if they didn't, then uh, you know. Right. But again, you would you would have known because your deck wouldn't have turned on if it was opposite. Right, right, right. It, it turned on. So you fine. might you might be good enough to just do it and just uh, all I can say is really try it. Now, yeah. if it's not working, remember one thing. Yes. Unplug quickly. Okay. Yes. The longer it stays on, the more damage you're gonna it start can to burn so stuff. It's wrong. So exactly. Right. We gotcha. don't want we don't want a little experiment to cost you some extra money. Okay, that's a bet. I really really appreciate it. Thank you no, so no, much. No problem. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you later. You bet. You too, sir. Thank you. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, that's what we got. All right, guys. So this is what he's going to look like before. And this is how he looks after. Sorry, it's DJ. So I'm pretty excited. I just got back from my day, you know, my daytime, my my nine to five. Um, came home to a bunch of presents, got them all ready. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to install this stuff. So if you guys, like I said, this is the season is coming around. Where you guys might end up, you know, might not be riding your your, your dual trunks or whatever scooter you ride. You might not be riding it. And um, so you might want to spend this time to modify it to kind of do like little maintenance checks and uh, look online, see what you're going, you know, how you can make it look more up to your speed, whatever, to, you know, how you want your thing to look. So uh, thanks for coming again. I got, I always got to thank you guys for even watching the video because I just, like I said, I never thought that anyone would watch my videos. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm not going to walk you. I'm not going to hold your hand and walk you through it literally, but I'm going to like go through the steps. Tell you, tell you guys what I'm going to do before I do it, then I'm going to do it, then I'm going to show you how it's going to look after, so on and so on, all right? So, um, yeah, um, enjoy the video. Okay, technically for this job, all you're going to need is your 4 millimeter hex key and your 5 millimeter hex key. Now, the hex key kit that I'm using in general is going to have the normal hex tips. I feel the depth's not good on this, but you could, maybe you could see it. And it's going to have the round ends. All the bottoms are going to be round. This is very handy when it comes to these scooters because sometimes you may need to do things at an angle. And these will give you, I'm sorry, this that's the wrong size. And these things will give you that advantage to use this, you know, these at an angle where you can unscrew things. So uh, let's go on ahead and get the time lapse popping. So right now, I'm trying to figure out what I should do first. Yeah, we're going to stop that right there. See, those pegs are not going on in this video. Why? Because the uh, the coil, the electric coil for the motor goes right through that uh, axle. And I need to remove that cable in order to get to the part of the threading for that axle so that I can put those pegs on. So Operation Put the Pegs On did not happen in this video, guys. So we're definitely, definitely definitely gonna skip that step which actually saves you guys some time but yeah that's what we got going on here um, we're just gonna move on to the next thing because i'm supposed to go for a ride today with wade we're gonna grab the victors and get it in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna loosen all these boards up on this all these screws on this board i'm gonna loosen them all up and we're gonna install the rear fender light the the cosmo the cosmo design rear tail light you guys heard the guy from Mini Motors. He said it should just bolt right on up, no problem. 
when taking these out and putting these together, always remember this guy, I know you guys can see it because depth of field is better on this camera. This guy and this guy, same thing with the back. The ones in the middle from the front to the back are the longest ones. They have the longest uh, threading on them. So that's where you know what, you know, where, what goes where. All the rest of them are the same length. Now, something that you do not have to do, because I'm sure somebody's wondering, see how this works? You got the regular deck. Then you got this clear deck. Now the LED deck lights, they came with this. They came with this little clear board or whatever, plexiglass, and your Dualtron already has this built into it. I guess when I was tightening it back down, it ended up sticking to this board. But this little rubber, this is like a rubber gasket. It's very, very thin. It actually comes on your Victor already. And I guess that's the kind of waterproofing that you kind of have that they don't advertise because they don't want you guys running these things inside the freaking lakes and then saying, hey, my thing's jacked up. So um, basically what we're doing here is what I did with the LED strips. And if you guys want to watch that video, I got that video in the description below on when I installed these guys. Um, you just find black and white cables like the guy said. Here's the black and white cables. You're going to find something inside the board that has these same exact cables and you're gonna disconnect them and you're gonna plug them to these guys. And then this light essentially should just turn on and work along with the regular deck lights that I have already installed. So I am going to, there's no cables back here. There's no, nothing back here. The only thing that's in the back here on the back of the Victor is the cartridge for the suspension. Your two controllers are up front up here. And if I was looking at the diagram correctly, the controllers are this one controller. It's a two in one controller. Yep. So the Victor actually has one controller, but it has two outs. Like it, it, there's two outs for it. So it can go, one can go to the front motor and one, one can go to the front motor and one can go to the rear motor. If you guys download the, um, they have a manual online, you would actually see that on the schematics in the diagram for the online manual. So all I'm going to do is do what I did with these guys. It's so cramped in here, guys. So cramped. You guys want to see this? So, this is the deck lights, this little light colored cable. And I found me some black and white cables to connect them to right here. So, down here, this is the bottom right corner. Get you guys a little closer. You see this one right here? This one right here, I'm, this is a thicker cable all around, so I'm going to disconnect. You see the deck lights is on this one right here. Those cables in there that they're connected to are a little thinner. I'm gonna disconnect those, put them back together to each other, and then go on ahead and disconnect this thicker one and connect it to this deck light and hook the deck lights up to this guy. And then we'll go on ahead and see if the lights work before we put anything back together. So let me put this down and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so here's what we got. Here's the difference between the Carbon Revo LED deck lights. You got two prongs there. And the Co Cosmo Designs got three. So we got the red and green, and I'm gonna assume red is definitely hot. Green is probably hot too, to be honest. So somehow I would probably need to connect the green, I mean the red and the white cables together. Otherwise, I'm going to burn some shit out. Or I'll just run them independently. And the, the, the deck lights, I'll just go on ahead and use the deck lights how I had them before to the thinner cables. Or probably I'll just keep them connected because I connected it. I'm going to connect basically the deck lights to the thicker cables. And then just since it's only one LED for the, for the fender, I'll connect that to the thinner wires. And we'll go from there. Now, both of those sets of wires, if I'm not mistaken, they do give you power to light up your stuff. Uh, we'll do a test hit right now. All right. I'm turn the scooter on. Hit the switch. Turn it on. All right, scooter's on. Now we're going to hit the light switch. 
all the lights come on. So we're good to go. So basically, like I told you guys, there's these two ones, there's this one right here. You see these skinnier wires? These are already in the deck. I got those hooked up to the actual rear tail LED, that guy by itself. And then I took the two thicker ones, which is this guy right here. And I connected that to the LED light. Since it has two strips, I figured I'd use the thicker cables and connect it to the LED strip like that. So uh, that's what we got, guys. Um, I'll put this all back together and try to figure out why this thing still has a little light on the top in the middle between the two zeros. What's up this? Why is my brake still applied? What's up with the brakes? So I got to figure that out. All right, something I didn't think about. How am I going to get this rear LED out to the actual fender? So basically this little gasket right here, you guys can see the brake cable and the motor cable, it goes through here. I had pulled it up because it goes in this little slot right here. You can see the slot that pretty much goes down inside of there, right? So I'm going to take, you see I got the red, the red, green, and white cables going under it. So I'm going to just push this back down on those cables. And uh, once I get this back flush with the deck, then we'll go about installing the actual fender. When you put this whole system together, inside of there, you see that? Let me show you guys how this look. All right, so you have the bottom plate, right? This is the bottom custom Cos Cosmo designs, or should I say the top plate? The LED strip goes right in here. You see, it's a, there's a slot for it. That's where you put the lights. How do you put the lights in there? Well, they come in like this. It's actually perfect. Remember, this is the out facing. This is the, this is where the LEDs are. They're on this side. So you go on ahead and you you have it sit up in there like this, right? And then you take. They're not stained because I haven't used the 3M tape. I just want to essentially show you guys how this goes and then this will go over it but you have to get this thing this has to sit in there this has to sit in there flat so once you get it to sit in there flat you take the actual the clear piece right and you just slide it over it bam just like that that's how it goes and then when the leds are on they'll shine out into here the leds are kind of bright I would think these things are super, super bright at night. In fact, let me close the garage door so you guys can see. All right, there you have it. So they'll be, they, these things are pretty bright at night, you know, and if you're in a well-lit city, they might not be bright enough, but that's kind of what it's going to look like. So it's pretty cool. Makes your scooter look a little more unique. I still got to figure out those brake lights. Uh, let's get everything put back together now that we know how to do it. We're just going to put them in these back holes right here and then just go from there like that. And we should still be able to use this. When I fold my steering, I should still be able to use these, but I will show you guys once I get everything put back together. We'll go on ahead and try to fold the handlebars and see if the new fender is going to be in the way of that. Okay, quick disclaimer, guys. When you're screwing these guys back in, keep in mind that they're screwing into this plexiglass clear thingy-majiggy. When you put these things back together, lock tight the threads. It's like I said in the, in the video when I installed these actual lights. Put a little bit of Loctite on this thread right here. You know, just, just, just splash some Loctite because you cannot, you absolutely cannot tighten these tight. If you tighten these tight, you're gonna strip this little plexiglass clear material thingy majiggy. You're gonna strip the hell out of it. It is a not, it is not a strong material. Uh, you have to, have to, have to be careful handling that. Or like I told you guys, you're gonna screw it. You're gonna screw it over. You're gonna, you're gonna strip it out clean, smooth, and we're back to square one. So you want to tighten it. When you tighten it, tighten it until it stops screwing. Give it one quick little, like one little small little nudge and be done with it. That's it, all right? 
and you can always check them you know before you ride and make sure it's not loose but if you have some loctite in there it should hold it in place and that'll be the blue loctite this loctite that blue tight you want to make sure you get some of this stuff see that thread lock blue all right i know somebody wants to see me specifically put the loctite on the the bolt so i usually just do it like this i'm not squeezing it i'm just making it slap up against the the side this is how i apply loctite to avoid you know, I'm not squeezing it. Remember, I'm just I'm just making it, I'm just forcing it out through gravity. That's pretty much how I do it. Okay. So I want you guys to see me tighten them. So I'll use the ball side. Remember, I told you to try and get ones with the ball tip. Tighten them till you get them tight where you kind of can't turn them easily like this anymore, and then convert over to this way. And you just you're just letting it turn like that. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I feel enough resistance. This is this is not super tight, guys. I can go tighter than this, right? But like I said, you risk stripping this material right here if you go too tight. The Loctite is going to counterbalance that by you know bonding and drying up, keeping the screws from coming out easily. So, and this is what it's going to look like on the bottom side. You see, this is how it looks. And all you're going to do, these holes right here, they're going to line up with these two holes right here at the back of your um, thing. And you can just pull the cable through, right? As you as you put the thing down and get, and get it set, you can pull the cable. But let's get the, the bolts lined up first. See how I got it in there? Pause. Hey, you guys see the uh, bolt with the blue Loctite on it? You see the two holes that those two long ones were supposed to go in? All right, the long ones don't go in there. The short ones go in there. Those bolts were too long and they wouldn't screw into the actual suspension cartridge in the rear. So I had to put the two short ones there and take those long ones and put them with, with the uh, silver washers. That's what you're trying to do. That's the goal, guys. That's the goal. Okay, I got them all lined up. And now I'm just screwing them back down. All right, so this is everything put together. We got the Cosmos. I know I need to wash my scooter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe it down with some simple green today. Actually, after I'm done shooting this clip, but we got this one on. Now they say, I saw somewhere that this said this is not a footrest. This is definitely not a footrest. You could probably rest your foot on it, but I see why they don't advertise it as a footrest because if they list it as footrest, some of you big foot motherfuckers, y'all gonna step on this thing and y'all are gonna bend it. Like, you see, it does have some flex to it, and this is down tight. This is what I was talking about with the washers. You guys are going to need, you know, probably going to have to get different colored washers. Maybe get these so that you can replace them with these. Now, a special mention with these. I want you to look under the board. Let's see. You see those screws? You see the cable? You almost can't do anything about the cable, right? The only thing I could do about this cable, I could probably route it so that it comes around here. But really, there's nothing. The cable's exposed. However, the LED board is completely silicone sealed. So, you know, you really don't have to worry about it, um, you know, like water damage too much. I just wouldn't ride this in rain anyway, regardless. But look at the bolts. You see how these bolts are longer? These two bolts are longer than this one. Remember I told you guys that the bolts, the bolts that go inside of here to actually bolt this entire assembly to the scooter that you need to use the you need to use the short i mean the long ones you don't the long bolts are for these guys and because i had to use the long bolts for these because um they were too long to actually screw into into this plate right here like these things weren't screwing all the way so i had to take the two short ones that i had in here originally and use them to screw down in there you probably can't see it yeah, those two bolts inside of there, those are the short ones. These are the only two long ones that came, and then the other short one is back here. So keep that in mind. If you guys decide to order this, um, the short bolt's going to be in the back. 
the two long ones are going to be here and then the other two short ones that you're going to get that it comes with is going to be inside of there screwing this entire assembly to the suspension plate whatever you want to call it this is how it looks from the back and i know you guys want to see what it looks like at night right how it looks in the dark all right i'm about to show you say no more fam say no more i got you You can change the pattern. Here's the kicker though. The guy at Mini Motors, I think you guys heard the phone call. If not, then I, had, I called him a second time asking him about remote controlling the rear fender. It's infrared sensors. So um, there's really no good place to put the remotes for the IR sensors. So they're both really close to each other. Who's the both? The actual deck plate and that rear fender plate. They're both sitting right here behind this front part area. There's nothing I could have done about that. I just, I just, you know, unless I, if, if, if the, I'm going to be talking too much. Anyways, they just, that right now, the way it's set up guys, it doesn't work. So I had to try to set the, um, the rear led the way I wanted it. So I didn't have to change it again. And so it's, I'm just going to leave it blinking like that, different colors. And then I can always change the led deck lid to kind of fit the rear fender. Otherwise, I'd have to take all the bolts off the fender again and do it remotely like that. Grab the remote with my hand and use the remote for the rear LED light and then just adjust it like that. Now, the guy said that the remote for the LED deck lid is going to control that uh, rear fender also. So keep that in mind. If you have your infrared sensors somewhat close to each other and you decide you want to use them, when you start pressing the buttons for that LED deck lid, it's going to affect that um, rear fender. I don't feel like showing you guys that because I kind of like the way it's set up right now. <laughs> so just take my word for it. The kitty bar was really easy to put on. You guys can see the little front kitty bar. There's always, there's naturally, let's work the zoom here. So with the kitty bar, in case you guys are wondering, this back plate right here that says Carbon Revo, this back plate is a plate. If you can look at it from the top, you can see it's a plate. Those two bolts right there in between the actual bar and that plate, those two screws, there's natural screw holes right there where those screws are actually screwed into. There's holes there with threading. Those two screws come with the Carbon Rebo Kitty Bar, so I was able to screw that plate using those holes, and then you screw these little bars right here. You, well, you'll slide this bar in them first, and then you'll tighten these, these four uh, bolts right here. And then boom, it's extremely straightforward. I got that from Mini Motors, and they had red, gold, and black as far as these bar ends go. I really, really wish they had purple so I can kind of go with the whole theme, but they don't. So I went on ahead and took the gold because I do have the multicolored sliders. As you can see, there's a little bit of gold in there. So I said, All right, we can we can probably throw gold in there and be fine. So. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like guys. It's pretty bright at night when you guys take it out at night It's pretty bright for what it is. Uh, I kind of wish it was brighter, but it's not so we'll just go with this and um, Yeah, man That's gonna be all for this video I went inside and made me that nice little delicious delicious smoothie. Oh My goodness Mmm can't wait to finish it off. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, like and subscribe. I think you uh, got a whole semi in the neighborhood. Uh, let me see. Do I have another video? I still have to do a single motor range test. And like I said, for that range test, I'm going to dial it down. So uh, I'm going to change the P settings in the controller. Make sure everything is set to promote battery saving. Because now we're this range test is going to be for max, max range. Okay. Like absolute max range. Um, something if you download the the PDF file for the Victor online, you know, they have the online, um, they have the manual online that you can download. If you download that, um, it has the schematics on there. So you kind of know how everything goes. 
That's why I, that's how I found out that there's just one controller that has two ports. It has a left channel and a right channel, so to speak. And left would be like the, for the front motor and right would be for the rear motor. Uh, that was very, very interesting because it's very tight in that board. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, I think that's it, man. I think that's it. Like I said, I got to do the single motor range test. I'm going I'm trying to orchestrate a top speed test for the Victor, right? Because a lot of people are always wondering, though, what's the top speed? Yeah. I've, excuse you i've got mine as high as 52 on gps but that was going like downhill a little bit i'm trying to find a 165 pound or less rider to do this test so i'm 100 usually my rider weight is around 203 204 if i have my gear on um, my friend wade he had you know he's 245 without his gear so maybe about 255 maybe like 253 252 and real um realistically as far as rider weight goes so um i got i'm trying to do three different weight classes that upper two like that mid 240 range then the low 200s and then that dual tron and most other scooter companies fucking 165 pound weight class and use the same exact scooter on the same exact day and um and everybody will i'll pick a stretch of road that's flat i'm trying to find as flat as road as possible so i'm gonna have to go get my gopros or grab my garmin and drive around town to all the places where i think is flat and then pick the flattest one so I can do the top speed test on. And they're going to be all, the, the scooter's going to be on full sand. We're going to use Wade's scooter. He has the Dualtron 3 tires on his. And um, I, so I'm just, I'm trying to find that 165 pound rider or somebody really, really close to 165 to ride his scooter that, that's not scared to run at full sand, not scared to go 50 miles an hour if it'll go 50 miles an hour for them. And um, so I got that test coming up as an idea. I'm trying to do it before it gets cold. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Uh, I, I, it would been a pleasure to share this all with you. And, uh, man, I hate to edit this. This is going to be a crazy edit, but fuck it, it's worth it, right? Um, all right, guys. Peace, man. Peace, 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 peace.